Hey everybody, welcome. All right, so today we want to talk about surface area. This is something you've probably done in your past. If not, feel free to check out this video a couple of times or go to YouTube or make sure to talk to your teacher. The very first thing you want to know about surface area is what it is. Uh, it's the sum of the base areas and area of the lateral faces uh, of a space figure. All right, now that sounds a little bit fancy. Let me show you what it means. Okay, this is a space figure. Notice, it means it's three-dimensional. And what are the faces and the base areas? Well, the base areas are the top and the bottom. Those are the base areas. What are the lateral faces? Well, that would be the sides of the figure. And on the sides, you'll notice we've got a left, excuse me, a right, and a left. We've got a front, and we've got a back. And when you take this three-dimensional shape and you make it into a flat shape, it'll help you be able to solve this problem a whole lot more. And this flat shape is called the net. All right, so let's see how we do this. So here we are. I've got a three-dimensional figure, and I make it into a net. Notice I've got my top, I've got my bottom, I've got my right, front, left, and back. All right, now I have to be able to visualize what the numbers are for each of them. Notice on the bottom, I have four by four. On uh, the sides, I have a nine. So let's think about this. The bottom would be four times four, which is 16 inches squared. The top would then also be the exact same thing. The right, which is four by nine in this situation, is 36 inches squared. And if the right is 36 inches squared, the front would be 36 inches squared. The left and the back would also be 36 inches squared. And now I just need to channel my inner third grader and do some good adding. Because if I add all these together, I get 176 inches squared. So what's the surface area of this figure? 176 square inches. All right, let's have you try one. Here's a three-dimensional shape. Oops, wink. All right, give it a shot. Let's see if you can do this. And it looks like I may be a little bit out of order in my slide, so we'll just get the entire answer for you. All right, I'm back. What you're going to notice is that we've got the bottom, which is 5 by 2, which gets you 10 square centimeters. Now the front, which is 8 by 5, gets you 40 square centimeters. Now if the front and the back are the exact same thing, that also gets you 40 square centimeters. And let's think about what the side would be. The side would be 2 centimeters by 8 centimeters. And 2 times 8 is 16, and that's why that's you get the 16. Now if you add all these up, you should get your answer, 132 centimeters squared. How'd you do? All right. Can we only do it with uh, three-dimensional rectangular pr uh, prisms? Nope. Let me show you a triangular prism. And once again, we have to think about how can I make the net of this? And this is the picture. Notice, this part would be the bottom, right here. This part would be the back, which is right here. And this is the top part that goes down at the diagonal, right here. And of course, these are the two triangles on the sides. So if we plug in all the numbers very, very carefully, we now can just solve each problem. Notice, the rectangles are easy. This is 4 times 6, which is 48, 8 times 3, which is 24, and 8 times 7, which is 56. This would be base times height divided by 2, so 18 divided by 2 is 9. Once again, add them together very, very carefully. Should have gotten your answer, 146 feet squared. So being organized here is probably going to help you out more than anything. The arithmetic is no more than fourth grade. All right, I'm going to let you guys try this one. It's our last one. All right, I'm back. Did you get the net? Awesome. Did you plug in the numbers properly? Notice this is the bottom, so it's 5. This is the part that goes up, so it's 4. This is the part that goes diagonal, so it's 8. All right, the rectangles are probably the easiest to begin with, so I put those in. And then base times height divided by 2, 5 times 4 is 20, 
divided by 2 is 10. Add them all up. Did you get it? All right. You guys, if you got any questions, make sure to ask your teacher. Thanks.